guys, welcome back to Alexis Blesses. I'm here with the <laughs> another video. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So in the background, if you hear noise, playing, that's my son, playing with toys and stuff. And um, yeah, so. Okay, so just in case you guys don't know from my social media, if you don't follow me on Instagram, See, this I can. Josiah shush. Just know I am not editing all that out because it's not gonna stop. Okay. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you do not know that I am currently 35 weeks pregnant with my second baby. And it is a boy. You will already know that. If you, you know, go to my Instagram page, it's a boy. We just had our baby shower. We didn't do a gender reveal this time, but we did do a baby shower um, this past weekend. And that was fun and exciting. And I will also, if you would like, I can do a haul on all the baby stuff and um, things that I got from uh, that baby shower, um, it was a blessing. So, um, and also I can post some pictures. I don't know if we got any videos, but pictures and stuff like that. So I know you guys are like, whoa, what do you mean? The last time you were on here, you were um, almost about to give birth to your first son. He was now almost two um, and he's going out the door. He's, he's fine, you guys. He has, yes. So, you guys, sorry, I'm back. Like I was saying, I know you guys are wondering, like, where I was, what happened to me. And so, this video will be, like, an update and also where have I been and what happened. Um, so, let's just start off. So, the last time I made a um, video, I was... Ooh, I don't even know how many weeks I was, but I was close. I had like a couple weeks or a week left, and I was going to be induced that next week. Okay, so once that video posted, everything went downhill. Um, a couple of days or a week after that, we, my husband got sick. Um, he was having these little symptoms, and you know, COVID was around, so. Everything was just like, we were trying our best to be safe, but it just still got us. Um, so my husband eventually, you know, tested positive for COVID and I was still pregnant. I had a couple of days left, two, three, four, I don't even know. I had some days left where, um, right before I was going to get induced. So, my husband was positive, but I had negative um, or a negative test. But to be honest, I was still feeling not myself. And I understand that I was at the end of the pregnancy. So that's what I thought it was. But then at the same time, I still did not feel right. Like I felt different. And thankfully, I know my body. Thankfully, God blessed me to know my body when there's something wrong. And, um, so yeah, so my husband tested positive and then after I delivered a couple of days later, um, November 6th, um, the baby came and right before that I had got a, a test done from the hospital cause they knew the whole situation. Um, ah. and my test was negative at the hospital, you know, the one that it had. So I was just like, okay, that made me feel a little bit better. Um, but I still was just feeling off. Um, so I gave birth. Birth, um, went great, actually. I was in this, but everything went wonderful. And if you guys would like me to give an in-depth on how my birth went, like, uh, you know, just comment down below. And I can, you know, we'd love to do a video about that because that was awesome. It was quick. It was easy. And it was uh, supernatural <laughs> and that's what I prayed for I had prayed about that and that I could do another video on but I gave birth and you know baby came home and all this my husband he couldn't see me and the baby because of he had COVID 
six days after I gave birth, I was laying down with my baby and um in the living room. And all of a sudden, it just, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, I was laying down and I couldn't breathe at all. It came on me like this. And so I jumped up. And I went to go tell my mom, I said, Mom, something is going on. Like, I literally just had a moment where I couldn't breathe. And that was really traumatizing for me. So I was just like, I was like, hello, you guys. Okay, so camera cut off. So how to come in here, as you know, different background in the bathroom. Okay, so back to where I left off. Um, so I was saying of uh, how I ran to my mom because I felt just something going on. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I knew it was something. It was just not, I wasn't feeling good. Um, you're not breathing right. You're just feeling all just types of stuff like that. It's just like terrifying. So at first, you know, I looked it up. Of course, that's the first thing you go to Google and you look it up and, you know, they talk about infection, some type of infection maybe that maybe causes you to feel like this. So I was like, okay, maybe I just have a little infection. That's normal woman can get that after they have a baby and stuff like that so i just didn't think more of it but my symptoms got worse continuously and i was just it was not letting go it was not letting down it was just getting worse and worse and worse um i noticed that um i got a fever and i remember i think getting up to 104 um so then I was just like, yeah, I think, I don't know, one of those nights I went to the hospital. I think that was four, four or five days. That was either four or five days after I gave birth. Um, I went to the hospital and they, um, what did they do? Did I? My blood pressure, they couldn't, my blood pressure was high and I went to the hospital, they couldn't get it to come down, you know, and on top of that, I do have hypertension, but while I'm pregnant, I don't have it. And I think it's also associated with anxiety. If, if there's anyone out there who has anxiety, you know, your heart rate gets up and I have or recently had in the past bad anxiety. Um, but in Jesus name, I am going through a process of being healed from that so you know at the time it's like my anxiety maybe i think was taking over so it's making my blood pressure be like 180 over 100 or something but you know that anxiety wouldn't do that much i don't think so i knew it was something else going on and at the time that doctor that night they were the doctor i had was terrible it was a older man and he was just nonchalant and he just seemed like he really didn't care about what was going on you know and it was just giving me honestly racist vibes and I didn't like it and also I was back in my hometown so if you know my hometown I don't really like the doctors here and so yeah so went back home and they gave me I think they gave me some medicine for my blood pressure and I was like okay Maybe it's my blood pressure just went up. I just had a baby. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <sighs> and I still didn't feel better a day or two later, which was which would really make me six to seven days after birth. Because I remember telling the doctors I'm six days um, postpartum. Um, I went in and that day, that was the time I stayed. So, um... I went in because that night, you know, um, I was with my mom um, in the household. You know, my mom, she was drinking all the, she drank teas and stuff like that. And I had, oh yeah, I had lost, doing that process, you guys, I lost my taste, smell. Um, I could barely walk one of those days. But that night that I went back. And I had to stay for a couple of days was when I noticed I couldn't breathe at all. Like, I couldn't breathe. So, either almost, we almost called the ambulance, but we didn't. My dad took me. I was like, I gotta go. I didn't want to leave my 
<laughs> seven, six, seven day old baby, but I had to because I was just, I can't breathe. So honestly, what got me through was just God um, at that moment because I just, I was like, leave my baby. Um, so that night when I went, um, I oh, felt so alone. <clears throat> Sorry, yes. <laughs> COVID was rapid and you couldn't have anybody with you. You had to be alone by yourself. So, of course, got tested again and it was positive. Um, and I was just like, well, these doctors just tested me like six, seven days ago at the hospital and I was negative. And all of a sudden now I'm positive. I'm just like, oh my goodness. But you know what? They didn't have much of a knowledge of the COVID so it was just like yeah um so I tested positive and of course I had to stay there my oxygen was actually really good but the reason why I was having shortness of breath or feeling like I couldn't breathe was because I had fluid on both of my lungs but I think it was more on one lung so um had some fluid there so it was pneumonia. So I had COVID pneumonia. So COVID pneumonia. Um, six days after giving birth. Not only do I am I going through COVID pneumonia, but I'm also still currently bleeding from giving birth prior. So it was a lot going on. My body was already going through the process of postpartum and trying to heal and then you put COVID on top of that COVID pneumonia on top of that who lord in jesus name i just don't know how i would have did it without god i don't know because that was the only person i had in that hospital with me that was the only person my husband wasn't there my child my mother my dad they weren't there with me i had to stay in the hospital for two days alone I was bleeding. I was, I could barely walk. I was just, and it seemed like the days flew by so fast. It did. Like, I don't even know how I made it. I would FaceTime my mom um, all the time because, you know, my mom had the baby at the time. And uh, just seeing my little boy got me through as well. Like, it made me feel like, like just, you got to fight. You got to get home. You got to take care of your son. And... Ooh, just when I think about that story or that time that I went through and that triumph and trial, Lord, I just thank God for bringing me through because I really, some of those days going through that, I didn't think I was going to make it. And that's the honest truth. I didn't think I would be here. And let me tell you, that didn't even, it didn't stop there. Let's just say that. So, you know, getting over COVID, two weeks, about a week or two later, I started feeling a little bit better. But I'm telling you, I have never felt the same ever since having COVID. Um, yeah, I had PTSD and I still am suffering like from a lot of anxiety. But at the same time, I didn't give it to God. But I had, I know for sure, PTSD from having COVID pneumonia. Plus, on top of that, having to be going through that postpartum period at the same time through that so I just had that all at the same time um so that was hard so that whole year so I had my baby deliver him uh, November 2020 but the whole year of 2021 was just honestly me f trying to recover trying to get back to myself I just didn't never felt myself for some reason I my body was the same I always was exhausted I would have dizzy spells or um I wouldn't say dizzy spells but I just felt like I was off balance and I thought I had vertigo at one moment it just COVID really affected everything in my body my sight my smell my ears my here it affected everything and um but it didn't damage anything i went to the doctor for my heart my heart looks good uh, i didn't have any damage on my heart or any of my organs or any of that so i really thank god even though i felt the way i felt i am still i was still 
healed and God was, he, he healed me. You know what I'm saying? And even though at the time I felt like I was never going to get over it, I did. Um, oh, some days I just wanted to give up. I'm telling you, I remember I was just like, I just don't want to be like this for the rest of my life. And I thought it was, I thought I was, but I wasn't, you know, and it didn't happen like that. And I thank God for that. And I thank God for my husband as well, because he was there and I know it was hard for him already, you know, dealing with a, a baby and then plus me going through that traumatic situation. I just really thank him for being there and not giving up on me as well and being patient with me because no one really truly understood what I was going through. You know, people kept blaming on postpartum, but I don't think they even understood that I also went, I just went through a traumatic thing with, you know, situation with COVID. So I rebuke COVID, I rebuke anxiety, I rebuke anxiety away from me during this delivery. And I, I in Jesus name, I am not having it. I would not settle for it. I'm not going to deal with it. Let me just say that in Jesus name. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So, um, so that happened and I just didn't have the encouragement or motivation or anything to keep going with YouTube. Um, I did do a little bit on our family channel, like um, during the Christmas of 2021. Yeah, I um, tried to record and stuff like that, but just never was consistent. So hopefully I can get back to being consistent this time around and uh just welcome our new edition um yes so i'm so excited um you guys let me know what kind of videos you want from me um you know i'm already 35 weeks so i can still do an update um from from the beginning to 35 weeks but you know it's about time so you know i can't do consistent updates but i can definitely give updates or just let me know, women out there, anyone, anybody, just videos you want me to do, what you want me to talk about. Um, oh, I just had a New York accent, not on purpose. That was not on purpose. I don't know why. Um, yeah, just anything, you know, I'm just now just getting back and getting into the groove of YouTube again on my channel and then. I'm just trying and starting and wanting to also work on the family channel as well. So, yes, you guys. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching and hearing the story and hearing, you know, where have I been and why I left. And now I am back full of energy. I'm ready to start being consistent with you guys. Um, so you guys just let me know, make sure you follow all of my social media content, um, or social media accounts. Also, you guys, before I go, I have two baby registries that I'll be putting in the link below. If you want to get anything, you don't have to, but if you do want to get anything or purchase anything for the new baby, um, I'll put the links of our registries below. One is for Amazon and one is for Target. So you guys let me know um about that and that would just be a blessing to us so i just thank you guys for watching and i can't wait to see you in your next video bye mm -hmm.